Okay, put some earphones in. Put some earphones in. This video will contain certain words that may be considered naughty swear words by some people. So put your earphones in or click off the video if you want. If you're allergic to the truth, click off the video now. We've got to get into it. What would I do during a ride? Someone asked me during a ride. If you woke up tomorrow, you're six foot tall. And you're a fat fuck. You wake up tomorrow, fat fuck. I'm like, how fat's fat? 150 fucking kilos of fat. Today I'm, I'm about 76 kilos. Veins everywhere. Super low body fat. I look like a Tour de France rider. I look like I could be a crack addict in a big roll porn video. I'm lean. If I was double my body weight, fat as fuck, people, I, you know, walk down the street and kids say, hey, fatty, stop breaking the concrete. Concrete matters. Concrete lives matter. You know, if I was just a fat cunt, what would I do? I didn't want to be fat anymore. I was at risk of heart disease. I got type 2 diabetes, all right? My schlong don't work properly because all the blood vessels are all clogged up with fats. What would I do? You know? I sweat and get out of breath just walking to the letterbox. I'm an embarrassment. I feel fucking embarrassed. I'm a man and I become a fat fucking slob. All right, what would I do? All right, I look in the mirror and I see just all this fucking fat everywhere. On my neck, my gut, hangs over. I've got a fucking apron belly, covers my dick. Girls make fun of me behind my back. To my face, oh wow, you're cuddly. Behind my back, he's a fat fuck. He's a fat, useless cunt. That's what they're saying behind your back. What am I going to do about it? What am I going to do about it? I'm going to wake up and get all the fucking fatty food out of the house. Because I'm not a fat cunt unless I ate too much fat. I'm going to get rid of all the oil, olive oil, coconut oil, olives, all the fatty foods. Anything with fat in it, get rid of it. Chuck it in the garden. Dig a, dig a hole. Give it to the turtles, give it to the worms, give it to the dogs, the badgers. Don't chuck it in the bin, just chuck it out. Give back to nature, all right? Don't chuck shit in bins, man. Don't, don't put food in the bin. It's a crime against nature. Dig it up, dig it in. I get rid of all the fatty foods, the donuts, the ice creams, the fatty cakes, the chocolate. Anything with more than one gram of fat per hundred grams, I ain't eating it. It's going in the compost. If I don't have compost, I'll go walk. I'll go walk with a shovel like I'm murdering. <laughs> murdering. Like I'm digging a dead body. All right? That's my corpse in the cricket bag. All that food. I'm going to go out tonight and dig a hole somewhere and bury it all in there. Then put the plastic in the bin. All right? Get some exercise. I'm going to start moving my body. I'm going to get all that fatty food. I'm going to fill up my fridge and pantry. I'm going to fill it up with white rice, sugar, fruit, potatoes, corn. Everything steamed, fresh, raw, juiced, baked, broiled, steamed, 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 raw, whatever it takes to get it in, I'm going to go it. Potatoes, yams, fruits, vegetables, no nuts, no seeds. What about omega-3s? Fuck them. I'm a fat cunt. I don't need more fat. Okay. Well, what are you, what, what, what are you, gonna, you might die from a fish oil deficiency. You ever seen a fat cunt die from not enough omega-3? Me either. <laughs> Me either. You know what I mean? You got people literally on the edge of a blocked artery death from excess fat. And they're saying, well, what about omega-3? Hey, dude, stop being a fucking health expert. That's not your, your you know what I mean? It's like sitting on, on a car on the edge of the cliff. A seagull is about to land on the bonnet and tip you over the edge. And you're like, how does my hair look? Is, is my hair okay? It's like, dude, that's the least of your fucking problems, man. Okay? People get caught up in all this bullshit. This is distractions. What about omega-3? You know, doesn't the, the brain need fats? The body makes its own fats. Okay? <laughs> People get, this is what the people, people I literally have obese people telling me. Well, dude, I don't know, man. I'm like, dude, you're 150 kilos, man. All right? 
You call yourself a fat cunt. Okay? How are you going to stop being a fat cunt if you just distract yourself with shit doesn't matter? And you, you, you put all this emphasis on little things and you're arguing with me right now. But sometimes it doesn't even fucking matter. All right? We're talking weight loss here. So get rid of all the fats, man. And medication. So many medications cause weight gain. Okay? So many medications cause weight gain. Have a look at them. SSR, RISE. The end of Xanax. Oh, so many of these drugs, man. They cause weight gain. I don't. If I was a fat cunt, I wouldn't take any of that shit. Well, I feel a bit sad if I don't take him. My name's Vegan Gains. Harden the fuck up. Join my coaching group. I'll give you the support you need. You don't have a deficiency in these drugs, in my opinion. All right? I'll give you the support. I'll tell you what to do. And it starts with hardening the fuck up. All right? Quit your job. Go to a Civil War refugee camp in Rwanda or somewhere. Syria, and tell people they're your problems. Well, I don't care about them. I just care about me. And that's right. That's your fucking problem. That's why you have such pain because all you care about is me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Care about your health. All right? Care about your health. That's your priority. That's your, you ain't got your health, ain't got nothing. That's your wealth. Your health is your wealth. But stop overanalyzing little pissy things that make you feel so self entitled and pissed off at the world or whatever. You don't have time for that, man. You don't have time for it. <laughs> All right. That's, that's it. It's, you just got to prioritize. If you're watching the daily news, like, what are you doing, man? You should be out there walking, listening to podcasts, you know, from Tony Robbins or me or anyone else who's going to help you with some mind shit stuff. Just focus on mind shit stuff because nutrition, pretty much everyone out there contradicts, what they, contradicts themselves. I'm the only person with my level of platform who doesn't contradict themselves, who's got a book out, etc. established author, me. Uh, sounds arrogant, but it's true. So when it comes to nutrition, forget everybody else, because they'll have you doubting yourself, then you'll go two steps forward and five steps backwards, then you message me a year later, oh, Duran Ryder, I did your program for a bit, but then I stopped doing it. I was listening to Dr. Mark Hyman, and now I'm fatter than ever before. What should I do? I'm like, dude, you just lost a fucking year of your life. Just lost a year of your life. That's sad. So forget everyone else when it comes to nutrition. Just listen to me. And the only podcast you want to listen to is mental stuff. Stuff that of positive thoughts of, you know, thinking about good. Gratitude stuff. Gratefulness. Hearing about stories of people overcoming shit. Right? That's what you want to be in, listen to, man. Just saturate, saturate yourself with that. And get what get rid of any naysayers in your life. Oh, you can't do that. Sugar makes you fat. Me, 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 me. All this bullshit. Doing right as a dickhead. I'm a dickhead, yeah. But my nutrition shit's on point. Can't debate that. Um, You know, that's what I'll be doing. I'll just be waking up. I'd, I'd sell my car. I would fucking sell my car. Well, I've got a family. Okay, they can drive the car around. You don't, you don't, drive, you don't go in cars anymore until you're 70, under 70 kilos. That's what you're doing. Oh, my family, well, I've got to drive the kids to soccer. Fuck it, they can catch the bus. All right? Like you, 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 you can ride a bike with them to soccer. They don't need to go to fucking soccer, you know? They can kick a, they can kick a ball around the oval if they want. Whatever, you know? Like, like, so many parents sacrifice their life for their kids, and the kids grow up and get hate their parents anyway. <laughs> so what are you doing, right? What are you doing? If I had kids, I'd be like, you know, or, or you know, we, or I'd take them to soccer. We walk to soccer. Okay, we're going to walk to soccer. We're going to ride our bikes to soccer. We ain't going to drive a fucking car. You know, we're not playing for a freaking Manchester United. <laughs> you know, warm up. Have a warm up going there. You know, you, you can ride the bike to soccer or whatever. Walk to soccer. But you know, just, just extreme shit like that. All right. When it's extreme, then you, then, then you become addicted to. Oh, I'll become an asshole. No, no, you're not going to be an asshole. The difference between getting shit done and becoming an arsehole, okay? Refusing to step in a car doesn't make you an arsehole. You're just serious. You're drawing a line in the sand. And the people I've seen do the 75 kilo weight loss, that's what they did. That's what they did. They sold their car. They stopped getting in the cars, all right? Their body was their Uber, all right? Their body was their subway. 
They rode the bike. They walked. Okay, some people were so fat they couldn't ride a bike, so they had to just walk. And they went through a pair of shoes a month. They wore them out so quick. Soles down to the midsole. So that's what I'd be doing, man, is I would just, you know, I would get a job as Uber Eats. I'd just, whatever, whatever, some, something active. Where I was just getting shit done. Picking up cans, you know. Oh, but well, I've been feeling embarrassed. See, see, here's the thing is people aren't really dedicated. All right? People aren't committed. They're interested. And that's why for the gastric bypass and the weight loss drugs and all these fake natty sociopaths telling you, yeah, just eat less, move more. That's why they're making the millions, the billions, you know. That's why they're crushing it, man. Because people aren't really fucking serious, man. 99% of you out there. 99% of fat people out there. Unfit people out there. They're just pissing in the wind. They're just like talking about it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm dedicated. Yeah, I bought $300 worth of supplements last week. Yeah, I'm, I've got a gym membership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't go to the fucking gym to lose weight. You go to gym to gain weight. All right? Gym's anabolic. People take steroids. Go to the gym to gain muscle, gain weight. <laughs> if you go to the gym to lose weight, what are you doing? You, I mean, just you don't need to just get rid of the gym membership, man. Just go around your neighborhood walking, all right? Driving to a driving your car to the gym to burn electricity so you can go on the treadmill and breathe in everyone else's farts and detox when you could walk for free in your neighborhood and inspire other fat people to get the fuck out of their cars and get on the pavement and. You know what I mean? Be inspiration. You will be inspiration. I don't exercise outdoors because people make fun of me because I'm fat. Yeah, someone might. Who gives fuck them? Who cares about them? Sit on them. Sit on them. You know what I mean? Come here, I'll sit on you. <laughs> Who cares about them, man? You're going to be inspiring other people who are sick of being a fat fuck. Right? When you go to the restaurant, you all the white rice... And the vegetables in your plate, soy sauce and some sugar. But I bought four cards to make you fat. <laughs> Vietnam disagrees with you. China disagrees with you. When you're eating like a Vietnamese or a Chinese or a, you know, an ancient Mexican Incan, high carb, low fat, and you strip all this weight off, you're going to inspire a lot of people. You know? You're going to inspire a lot of people, man. Like, I wish I was fat. I wish this was true. I wish I could wake up tomorrow. 150 fucking kilos. I'd press that button in a heartbeat. Man, that would, I would go fucking viral because I would just strip all that weight right down. I'd get back down to 60, 70 kilos. Okay. Have some loose skin hanging off. Get some surgery if, if I wanted to. No biggie. Whatever. All right? We're talking real shit here. All right? You're probably going to need surgery if you're 150 kilos in my protocol. You may, you may not. You know? and it's up to you. You, know? you don't have to. But you're probably going to have some skin surgery. Maybe. Depends on your genetics. Okay. Some people don't. Some people do. But it doesn't matter. It's cheap. Go to Thailand. It's cheap. And they're good. Um, you know. It, it, just for me. Just who cares what people think. Okay. I mean we all care what people think. But you know what I'm saying. Like when it, when it comes to achieving your goals. Stop caring what people think. If you're embarrassed of being a fat fuck. I get it. It is embarrassing, all right? Because it means we've just abused ourselves with fatty foods, all right? It, and it, it it is embarrassing, you know? It is embarrassing. Uh, that's, that's that's what people fat people tell me, you know? I've never been fat because I've always... I got lucky. You know, I, I found the truth about fatty foods early in life when I was about 12, that fat people eat a lot of fat foods and I didn't want to become fat, so I kept my fat intake you know, moderately low, but if I didn't change my diet, I would definitely be obese now, I would definitely be obese, so I got that fat phobia early in life, and I was lucky, I was just lucky man, I didn't have the discipline, or, I was just lucky, that I learned that fat makes you fucking fat, the fat you eat, the fat you wear, I learned that when I was about 12, I was looking at fat people, and I was like, they love their fat, don't they, I don't want to be fat, I better stop eating the fat, and it's bad for my heart, too much fat, Okay, easy, done. So I got lucky. I got lucky. Um, but that's what you got to do, right? If you want to have an, 
your best call of your life, all right? Gastric bypass doesn't fucking work. It treats the symptom, not the cause. Well, I might got a friend who gastric, and that's all this way. Yeah, and now they're going to eat a fucking handful of fucking food. You know what I mean? they got all these nutritional deficiencies. You want to talk about nutritional deficiencies? Talk about gastric bypass. I know some surgeons who cycling who do gastric bypass, you know? And they make a shit ton of cash. And they're the first ones to say, man, your program works, Harley, but you won't make as much money as we do because people don't want to do that shit. They want a quick fix solution. And they're right. They're absolutely right. And that's why I have a bigger house than me. You know, bigger bank balance because they sell comforters, right? I sell real solutions. People don't want that. People don't want the solution. They want the comforter. I want to eat all my shitty food and look ripped. <laughs> Cut me open, Doc. Cut me open. I want to eat all my shitty food. Just just eat less. That'll work. And I'll be depressed and miserable in the meantime. So that's why calories in, calories out works for people because they get to eat all their fatty shit and starve themselves and then yo-yo and binge and repeat that cycle. And then they hate people like me. And that's okay. I get it. I don't, ha- I don't hate them, but I understand why they hate me. But that's the deal. That's what I would do. Get extreme get radical you're gonna lose all the all the flaky people in your life and that's okay man not everyone has to like you because most people don't even like themselves high carb super duper duper low fat under 10 grams a day unlimited carbs i wouldn't step foot in a fucking car you know i wouldn't i would just be so militant about it in a fun way not in a stressful way like i'm just i ain't going in no fucking car man I got fat to burn. Why would I burn oil when I can burn fat? Okay? When I tell you, so when I say get obsessed, become a machine, I mean that, but also be that fun machine, that fun obsessed. We're not stressing about it. You're just getting it fucking done. All right? You're just getting it done. All right? Yeah. So when I, walk, when I go for a bike ride, it's pissing out in the rain, and I want to... Go to the shops and get pick up a delivery or do whatever. I've just, I've got to go out to the shops. It's pissing out with rain. I've got to go. I put my rain jacket on. I'm not out there like Rocky punching this, punching the raindrops and kicking at them and cussing the rain. Fuck you, rain. I'm just like, hey, it's raining. Cool. Good for the garden. Good for the seagulls. Good for the dams. Good for the fi- good for the oceans. Rain. Cool. You know, people. You know, so you, you're just doing it, man. You're just doing it like a cold blooded fat killer. Just killing the fat off your body. All right? You're not at war with yourself. You're at peace with yourself. You know? If you want to have a bit of... You can have some war zones here and there. You can do a bit of that. <laughs> but in general, you're at peace with yourself. And you're like, I ain't in this fatty shit no more. I'm fucking sick and tired of being a fat, sick, and tired fat cunt. I just am. And when the why is strong enough, the how comes instantly. But again, do my protocols. Fucking forget everyone else. All right? All the other authors, forget them all. Forget them all. Because they're just going to fuck you up. All right? I've seen it, man. I've been coaching people since 1996. I've seen everything when it comes to fat loss. Everything. People chopping their hands off so they eat less. Everything, right? Calories in, calories out. It's bullshit. It causes suicides. It's a life suicide. Do my protocols. Forget everything else on nutrition. Just do what I do. Do what I say. And you will. I guarantee it. I guarantee it on my life. You'll get so fucking lean. People will be concerned about you. <laughs>